tariff companies want to string new power lines across state lines. That would allow you to use energy from Louisiana, New Mexico, and other places when Texas electricity supply is scarce. It gives us a backup in our state in terms of uh, providing energy for folks if we have a high demand time period, especially during the winter time. Combined, the two private projects could provide enough power for about a million homes. But that's about how much Texans electricity demand increased from 22 to 2023. So it's not quite the boost it would have been years ago. It's not going to be, you know, enough to keep even track with, you know, how fast we're growing in the state. It doesn't mean it's not valuable to the system, but, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to be the entire thing that we're going to be relying on. And the plan would not connect Texas to the national grid in the way some politicians proposed after the 2021 winter storm. ERCOT would still be independent, free from federal oversight, because of a sort of loophole involving the kinds of lines these companies want to install. In fact, Texas already has four such connections, though they're smaller than these proposed projects. So this is a very limited way to, to have the benefit of the resource, but also have the benefit to send some energy uh, away to other consumers when we have an excess. That means eventually the new lines could save you money. Texas electricity providers could buy power from other states where it's cheap and sell power when they have more than they need. Each proposed project is targeted for 2029 completion, though the plans are far from final. In Tarrant County, I'm Matt Houston.